That is a pathology there. That means that there are many classes of infertility. You can conceive, but you cannot implant. Because something messed up the ciliated part. Either it's genetic. Maybe it's flat and it's not moving it. It's not moving the egg. So the consequence will be to move pregnancy. It's going to stay there and start maturing. It's not, you're not going to, it's, life is not going to be compatible. So you have to cut, cut, remove, and then stitch back. This cell part must have definite <coughs> functions, and that is how A and P is, and I physiology, and must bring it to life. So this is a typical example of the pseudo, pseudo falls. The only thing that can go here, people, is air. You try to put this thing here, you mess it up. So it's not going to be stratified. You don't need stratified there. But when you look at it at the microscope, it looks stratified, but it is not. So we use the terminology pseudo stratified. And of course, the cells are there. Cell type, it will be columnar type. They are resting on the basement membrane with multiple nuclei. There is no more other type of cell. We don't see the boil. We don't see squamous. You understand? Okay. This will be the hypodermis that we described, we talked about before. And under this hypodermis, we're gonna see blood vessels. So if we want to put in drugs, right? Is it in drugs? We're gonna get it here to the hypodermis. Or when we leave the hypodermis going deeper, we're gonna to get to the muscle part. That means that we have left the epithelial, coming to connective, and then connective and connective. Connective tissues are the most abundant type of tissues in the body. Their function will also include protection, binding, support, and what else? Transportation, such as the blood that is said is not connective tissue. But when we forget that, one of the functions is transportation. How do we transport things in the blood? That's how it can transport hormones, uh, glucose, protein, amino acids, everything found in the blood. Okay.